Well, Fishos, here we go again. We've got a reasonable report this week. Not as good as the last couple of weeks, because you may have noticed we've got some funny weather patterns coming through at the moment, and that really changes it up and down in the far as the, the catch rates go. One day great, next day not so crash hot. Uh, especially if you're out on the impoundments, you know, you get those windy days pop up, and it's really, really hard uh, to fish the way you'd like to fish. So you've got to make allowances, and then you struggle a little bit. But in saying all that, we're still getting respectable reports from around the area. I mean, if you're going to Dart or anywhere like that, uh, any of the trout dams, you would have a pretty good success run at the moment. Um, I'm thinking that if you went down to Dartmouth Dam, if you trolled some fenders and worms, anything like that, fenders and crick hoppers, you should have some pretty good results. I'm still a firm believer that if you uh, drift and cast into the timber down there, you'll probably get better results. But... Uh, that's a fair bit of work if you're not into that sort of thing. Just sit in the boat and troll a fender or a cowbell around. Bit of lead line if it's nice, glassy, calm day to get you down a bit. So that'll cover your options pretty well. Hume Weir, we're getting some fantastic reports still from the Hume Weir. Haven't had big numbers of redfin come out, but it's big numbers of yellow belly still. I'm just wondering how long it'll go for. It might go for the next month or two with a bit of luck. Uh, it's just a matter of getting good weather. You get those windy days down there, it makes it too hard to tie up at the timber and you know slowly roll the soft plastic. Uh, you'd probably have to go from a three gram jig head to a five or even a nine gram jig head uh, if it's really windy, but it just gets too hard. It's just a matter of putting in the time. Trolling seems to be okay down there. Wide body McGraths still seem to be hitting the mark there. They seem to be the most consistent lure. Uh, but I'd be more inclined to use a CC minnow or a tadpole, something of that nature. Get a fraction deeper and uh, a little bit harder action to them. So a lot of activity down the Hume. We're a very good spot. A few reports from Mawala, a few yellow belly getting caught out of there. By the way, I must mention again, I do every report this time of year. It is closed season for cod, so if you do happen to catch one, drop it straight back in the water uh, as quick as you can, or probably not even lift it out of the water when you're unhooking it. Sometimes that's possible, not always, though. Uh, Murrumbidgee River down here, very, very good. Getting a lot of good reports from there. The bait fishermen are cleaning up. They're getting plenty of uh, cod putting them back obviously and a few yellow belly mixed in with them so it looks real promising there is the occasional silver perch and quite large ones getting caught too so we're pretty happy with that blowing over the last couple of days is a little bit on the patchy side but off the bank with yabbies is still working uh, a treat and if you want to bob soft plastics around i think you'll find you'll do okay trolling hasn't been all that productive up there um, little suspending minnows would probably cover the options on the yellows but there's a few yellows cruising the shallows have a hunt around use your sounder you should do quite well so as you can see, there's a bit of activity there as well. Talbingo didn't get a decent report from it this week. Uh, Eucambean, Tentangra, still fishing extremely well. Happy with that. Barranjuck the last couple of days has been a bit in the patchy side, but some of the blokes using the little three-inch Berkeley gulps, the black ones, are doing quite nicely, but most other techniques aren't working that well at Barranjuck at the moment. But that's only because of the weather pattern. Nothing much has changed there. The dam's dropping a little bit, but not much, so that won't put it off, I can tell you now. Uh, as soon as the cod season opens, you will hear a lot of big cod coming out of it. Wyangler hasn't been too bad. Burundong's not bad at all, a few fish coming out of there. Lots of activity around us, so there's plenty of places to go. Why don't we get some good weather patterns come through and get stuck back into it? This is the Complete Angler's Fishing Report this week, and we'll catch you again next week.